Hello and welcome to Pokey Dippies. I am your host, Joe Zamora here. And if you want to watch or you want to listen to this episode a week before it's on YouTube, which is over on Spotify, go ahead and go to Spotify every Sunday at 12 p.m. Uh, this week we have a special guest joining us because Stuart was like, I'm tired, man. Jaden! <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm Jaden, and I'll be your um, designated person from the South Southern Hemisphere <laughs> this week. There we go. Uh, and next up, we have David. GS Kamikaze. I do have what's uh, a YouTube now, so you can look that up and see my one video. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, the announcer of the group, we got Jesse. Oh, sorry. I'm playing Mario Golf right now. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> All right. I guess we don't have Jesse, but um, just like Jesse, uh, the Pokemon we're talking about this week has uh, likes to get four-fisted every now and then. Machamp. Let's have, do it. Let's hear those stats. We have Machamp. Ability. Guts. No guard. Steadfast. Typing is fighting. Stats are HP 90, attack 130, defense 80, special attack 65, special defense 85, and speed of a whopping horrible 55. <clears throat> All right, guys. Yeah, the champ has a good attack, and its defensive stats aren't too bad. You could even run something like an assault vest to give it a little bit of special defensive bulk. But the speed kind of screws it a little bit because it's not slow and it's not fast. So it kind of makes it a little, kind of a niche pick. And it sucks because it has some good abilities. Uh, like Guts is really good on someone like him. And then, you know, No Guard would really be good if he could learn Fissure with it. But unfortunately, it can't. That would, that would be so busted. <laughs> oh, dude. That would be like, that would be banned and uh, freaking. Uh, showdown in no time i would say yeah. at least 70 speed would have made this mon even better and see with steadfast you could possibly do that if you could if you see a pokemon that it, it might work with but even still like if you switch on a fake out it's not technically making it flinch so it wouldn't get the speed boost from it so really yeah well you have to make it flinch yeah so that's kind of the one of the I thought, as long as you got, fast with... I thought as long as you got hit by like a flinch, like, as, as long as you got hit by fake out no matter what, it'll cause you to flinch. It does not, because <laughs> since you're switching in, you're not using an attack, so you're not flinching technically. <laughs> uh, that's kind of whack. So Steadfast is kind of weak unless you got someone spamming Dark Pulse against the yeah, which... champ, which isn't going to be likely. If you're got half yeah, a brain, you'd be like, hey. Fist, but like... One S slash one thirty fifth is gonna put it out of its misery straight away. Yeah, exactly, and especially um, at the speed of fifty five, it's not gonna be speeding out anything. So look, my first thoughts on face, on face value. Like, look, I'm just telling you, a choice one, scarf one. steadfast could really do some damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on face value, <laughs> my champ has a lot of similarities to Conkle though. Like his attack is super high. Speed is a bit lower. It's, HP is pretty good. I think the good only difference, because yeah, they both have guts. Uh, and Conklinor has some good abilities, but the thing that kind of helps him is the fact that he has. Not also does he have. He's got Mock Hunch, which is a good stab attack. That was yeah, I was about to say exactly the same thing. The um, Machamp had Bullet Punch, which is obviously the Steel type priority move. But yeah, still, which still is get past some of that. Some of that um. Speed is just like it's not a stab move, so you're not getting the full benefit of of a stab as like what Conkle does has. So potentially that's probably why it's higher. Also, Conkle also gets Drain Punch, and Machamp really does not have any re any reliable recovery at all. No, it uh, it doesn't learn Drain Punch, which is weird. 
Like, you got and, four fists and can't drain anything with it. Like mm. even like everything, <laughs> everything it does, <laughs> Conquador does better. Like Conquador has more HP, has more attack, uh, has more defense. The only thing is, it's a little bit slower and it's got a little less special defense. But I mean, as we've covered, it's got that Mac punch that can help to put holes into things. Yup. <clears throat> but I mean, Mo Machamp has three Mohawks, so that should give him something. Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, guys. Champ reminds me of Goro. I think if I, I, I was talking to Joe just before the podcast started, but I, I do believe that if my champ had access to Drain Punch, it would be a lot higher in the on the showdown usage. Like if I had some kind of access to recovery, I think I could see it, you know, being not PU borderline, but maybe closer to underuse. It wouldn't. Even as the stat as it is, it's not, it's not an OU Pokemon. But potentially, underuse, I could see it going up that high. Yeah, it... either, either that or a Mach Punch. If it had one of the two, I think it would definitely be higher up. I, I feel like if I got both, it could be uh, NU. No, no, it's already in borderline. It, I feel like it could be UU. But if at least got one of them, it could potentially boost up to RU. Yeah, nothing to say. But, uh,. What is y'all's favorite in-game moment with Machamp? Do y'all have one? So, uh, for me, it was actually in uh, Pokken. In Pokken Tournament, because he's one of the characters in there. So he's a uh, powerful person that uses a lot of damaging moves, which makes it kind of fun for him to use if you like, just to use pure power. <laughs> An ability. Yep. I... It... I mean, I wish. I mean, he wishes he could get pure power. Boost that 130 to 260. I mean, I think any of us that played, like, the original heart, uh, original gold or silver probably used a Machop into a Machoke and never got the Machamp because they didn't know anyone who had a link cable nearby that they could trade and get that Machamp. <laughs> See, that's, 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 yeah, that was me too, man. That was my yep. thing. I, I had friends. I grew up with a bunch of people who played Pokemon too. So it was like, I could have done it. But I guess I just wasn't smart enough to be like, oh yeah, you know what? I want him a champ. Uh, trade me. Uh, now I know why they were your friends. <laughs> they Everyone's going to have too. the dumb one. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty though, so it's okay. I don't think I've actually had a... a a great finishing moment with my champ um and i don't mean it's in a disrespectful moment for my champ i just don't really use it um my mo i mainly train as a as a psychic type user so my champ's automatically out of the question yeah um and i usually use the yeah, psychic platform because I, I run a psychic type gym so i don't really use my champ all that much and even when i do go into um <laughs> It defends other like battles. Uh, it's always in OU or um, random battles. And so, so sometimes I pick up a my champ in random battles, and uh, I've done I've reasonably well with my champ. Did the but? Sorry, go ahead. I was gonna say that I think um, I did draft him once in a PML tournament, and I didn't do particularly well in the <laughs> draft. <laughs> So it might be a bit, a bit of anecdotal evidence, but um, I just I think I think um, there's something strange about Machamp. He's he he's not as good as he, he's not good. He's not as good as things about he should he should be good. He's a little underwhelming. He's not as good as the anime portrays him to be. He has the championship belt and all, and it's like, dude, you suck. But he's the P1 champion, so I guess that's one thing. Um, but my thing was, uh, did the Dojo Master have him a champ? He, I know he had a Hitmonchan and Hitmon Lee. Uh, I don't think he did. No, I think it was just the Hitmonchan and Hitmon Lee. Well, then that means the first time you saw him a champ, I yeah. think it was Bruno, and that's already the Elite Four, so most people ain't even thinking about it at that point. And um, if they are, it's because it's giving them problems because his Machamp was kind of annoying in the remake to Fire Red and Leaf Green. Because they gave him that No Guard ability. 
Yeah. Other than that, what's an anime moment y'all have with Machamp? Is there something y'all saw that was good, bad, in between? The first season when they show the dojo was like one of my favorite episodes. Where they show like all the Machop training and stuff. Yeah, and then in that you sense, know they look cool, but it's just like, they really do anything. I mean, that's really all the only time I remember even seeing them. I just thought they were cool. I think I have I have a memory of um Pikachu going up against Mark Champ. I'm not sure if that's a I, I'm not big on the I don't really watch the anime so much. But I have a, a um memory of Mark Champ absolutely like feeding Pikachu and I thought I just remember laughing at it. <laughs> <laughs> like that electric little... rack's getting what it deserves. Oh, I think that, I think I think I know what you were thinking of. Uh but at the beginning of the first movie, that guy had him a champ. Potentially, yeah. I'm gonna see if I can find it. But he battled Squirtle, yeah. not Pikachu. He's he battled Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and then Pikachu destroyed all his last Pokemon, including a Golem, which didn't make sense. But yeah, the Machamp faced uh, <laughs> his Squirtle oh, okay. in the movie. Yeah, because I think he had a Dawn fan too, if I'm correct. Yeah, he had a Dawn fan that faced Bulbasaur. Dude, Don Fan should be our next Pokemon. It's technically Gen 1. It was in the movie. <laughs> and uh, if he had a Team Skull helm, uh, bandana, if I remember correctly. Something like that. I think it was the same colors, yeah. I think it was red, but with the Team Skull logo. Like a, like a knockoff. There was a couple of uh, episodes that I remember Machamp being uh, a pretty primary one. The first one was when... Uh, uh, Giovanni lent Machamp to uh, Team Rocket in mm. charge of the Viridian Gym, and it just kicked the shit out of Squirtle. Right. Uh, and then there was another one in Gen 6 uh, where uh, it fights Halucha, and uh, basically for it to be the champion of the forest. And uh, apparently, an Ursaring and a Konkodur was trying to trick him into beating Halucha, and apparently, he kicked the shit out of both of those. And they, like, apparently they did it in one single move. So, and then that Halucha Flying eventually press. joins Ash. <clears throat> well, does anyone have any fun facts about Machamp? Oh, it's got four arms. Damn it, where is freaking Morgan when we need him? It's got three my hooks. It's got three buttholes? Uh, three Mohawks. Oh, three Mohawks. <laughs> <laughs> you said buttholes. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm look. Pokemon uh, position get... confirmed? Oh my god, I bet you there's a Pokemon Karma Sutra book <laughs> somewhere out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Here's some trivia for you. Um, in the Pokemon Red and Blue beta, Marchand was originally known as Judo. The name is a corruption of judo, a fighting style. So it's spelled judo, J U R D O H. Ah, that would have made um, sense. Well, yeah, like he's. You he pick people up and throw them, so like. Mm -hmm. I mean, like he's got or... four arms, you know. I, yeah. I watch Austin Powers judo chop. It makes sense. He could jerk off four dudes at once. Um. <laughs> Some more trivia from Bulbapedia. It's uh, Marchem could be seen as a counterpart to Alakazam. Uh, they're, the, they're both the last stage of a three-part evolutionary family. They reach their final stage by trading, um, level up at a medium to slow rate, and they both have a 75% male gender ratio. That's that's interesting. <laughs> that's actually pretty dope. Better than what I said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And um, they also go on to say, also, Marchamp excels at the attack stat, while well, Arkazam obviously excels at the special attack stat. Uh, the evolutionary families are also next to each other in the National Pokédex. Just yeah. Just and it also has that G-Max form. Yeah, it could honestly be firefighting in its G-Max form. They missed the ball with that one. 
Well, I, there's no G Max forums where they change types, though, is I there? I know, but there should be. No. That's called a mega form, <laughs> which are no longer made. You could temporarily change your typing in a in a moment. <clears throat> I mean, if you're, uh, if you're Cinderace. What do you think about, do you, think about <laughs> you can burn up. You can do burn up. What do you think about Machin's shiny He can do burn up? Yeah, you could do burn up. That changes your type. Okay. No, this is really your fire type. Yeah. What? It makes you lose a type. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot Machamp's a fire type. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe you're thinking of something like Stoke. Like... It loses that fire type that doesn't exist. It's gone forever. I was just saying. <laughs> um, Jesse brought like, up something other... interesting earlier. He could use the uh, consent condom by himself. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you credit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm squirt. <laughs> what neither do you think neither did she. Shot? But he used four hands to open it anyway. The champ used pound. <laughs> what do you think of Machamp's shiny? The it, green. Oh, isn't I it like, like a it. green? I like it because yeah. it's like the Hulk. Uh, I'm sorry. Any shiny that's green is usually pretty ugly. Yeah, agreed. It's the Lou Ferrigno. And it's pretty ugly. Fuck you. Agreed. Fuck both of you. Dude, I think. I think it's I think it is better than the Espeon Shiny. I don't like the Espeon Shiny at all. Oh good, I was literally thinking another ugly uh, shiny Espeon because it's green. Espeon shouldn't yep. be green. Um, Dragonite shouldn't be green. Um, yeah, there's quite a few shiny that should shouldn't not be, green. be green. Not not that shit green that they have, but my champ actually has a decent green. Yeah. Machamp has that like forest green. There's the rain green. Forest. That's ugly. It's not even. It's mm. it's like green tinted. It's not even green. Uh, Cabotops is green. That's ugly. Uh, uh, Beedrill is uh, green. It's mega form, but that's okay. That I'm one looks cool. Durant gets but. green eyes, but it's brown. Nope. Well, anyone uh, else got more fun facts about Machamp? Salamence is green. Yuck. <laughs> no, I don't have any more fun facts about All right. Dude, I'm ready to start pounding Well, let's people. go ahead and start using pounds on those non-consensuating Pokemon. Starting now. Jesus Christ. Now that we went over all the interesting tidbits over Machamp, let's go ahead and see Machamp fight here. As we got Gia's Kamikaze facing off against Gia's Gold. Alright, so Gia's Gold's team in the left corner. We have Zorork, Charizard, NDD Female, Claydol, Comparaja, and Machamp. On Gia's Kamikaze side, which is David on the right, we have Jolteon, Machamp, Araquanid, Gas, Glass Terrier, Gas. Um, Charizard and Flygon. May the battle commence. If you're, on YouTube, if you're on YouTube, you saw the team breakdown. If you're on Spotify, don't forget to watch the YouTube video. A week from now. Alright, here we go. We got Wish Tomp <laughs> versus the Flygon versus <laughs> Clay Doll. The Clay Doll. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, Wish Chomp goes for the U turn on Claydol. Araquanid comes in, the green machine. Doesn't make any sense, but uh, Claydol goes for Stealth Rocks here. Green machine goes for liquidation, and Claydol is gone. Mm -hmm. And Didi Female hits the field as Green Machine is on opposing side. And Didi goes for the Jesus. expanding force and Green Machine goes for the liquidation <laughs> again. Gone. Can we say banded Green Machine here? Machamp comes in, the star of the show. 
And Wish Chomp comes in. The Flygon takes some rock damage. Oh, it takes a Dark Ball. Special Machamp is on the field. Special Machamp. I don't think I've ever seen a day of really see him using Special Machamp. Wish Chomp goes for U turn. <laughs> and it's a Rourke. It fooled us all. I hate it gets me every time. <laughs> Three buttholes comes in. The Machamp <laughs> takes the Dark Pulse. <laughs> and if I had to guess, that is a Scarf Flygon. Extra Sentry goes off against Three Buttholes. Three Buttholes goes for Rock Slides, connects, and down goes the Roar. Copper Raja comes in. Dual type versus fighting type. What can go wrong? Psychic terrain is about to finish after this turn. Three buttholes is ready to fist that copperage in the ass. I heard you chuckle. I wouldn't be that sure. I wonder if I'm... Oh, really? This copperage <laughs> Dynamax is close combat comes in. Three buttholes, his defense is dropped, <laughs> and Max Strike goes straight into the three buttholes. And it goes down. <laughs> we're, we're so mature. Jesus Kamikaze sends out Charizard versus Copperaja. Interesting nickname, but it has heavy duty boots because it does not take oh, the rock I didn't damage. Name that one. <laughs> Dynamax Damn Charizard it. goes for the Max Flare. And Comparaja goes down, but the sun comes out. Sun's out, guns out, is what I like to say. Uh oh, we got Charizard versus Charizard. Black versus Orange. Who's going to win it? Z celebrate Charizard on GS Gold side. Takes a max airstream as Charizard goes for it on David's side. Both take some solar power damage. Celebrate Charizard does not G take man. out the Dynamax Charizard G -G. and Max Airstream goes off against GS Gold and Jesse is going to lose for the second week in a row. He is on a downhill slide. Machamp comes in against Charizard at plus two Hold speed. Well, what do you mean second week in a row? I won my first match last week. Yeah, but you didn't win it that all. That is true. He beat me last week though. Bullet Punch goes off against Charizard as Air Slash. Oh, goes off into the chest, but it lives. Oh, it's burned now. Oh, and my doesn't God. take burn damage. What in the world is that? That's nutty. Oh, it got burned, but it doesn't take burn damage just yet. <laughs> it looks like Machamp will get a Bullet Punch kill on the Charizard, but get revenge killed by its own burn. And Jesse's like, I'm not oh. going to do bullet punch on purpose. Oh, Green Machine goes down to rocks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not about to kill any of them, though. <laughs> and Machamp finally goes down, and GS Kamikaze is the winner of that battle. Let's go ahead and move <laughs> on the to Pokemon the on that second move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave was like, fuck you, I ain't losing a mon. It loses a bond. <laughs> <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. All that right, Jaden. I'm sending you the battle now. All right. Sounds good. GG, man. <laughs> GG. Some of your old favorites coming <coughs> back in, Jack. Huh? Some of your old favorites coming back to play. Oh, you're fucking comfy. Oh, okay. yeah. I was thinking about that. I brought one too, bitch. But I figured oh, since I used it last week, I had to change it up. Yeah, All right, so here we go. Here, the winner of this gets to face David. We got some more gaming, which is Joe, uh, who's got his Machamp, Bronzong, Excavalier, Comfy, Galvantula, and Hitmonlee. And we've got our special guest, guest <laughs> Jaden <laughs> Donsky14, who's got Jolteon, Comfy, Meowstic, Claydol, Arachnid, and Machamp. That's and up bad. first is Jolteon 4. Jaden and Joe comes up with great nicknames. His is, for his bronze song is Ding Fucking Dung. Instead of Ding <laughs> Fucking Dong. Ding Fucking Ding. But it says. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was a terrible nickname. You got a volt switch. It's out. a bell. It goes Ding Ding. 
<laughs> does some good damage, takes about a third of the health out. This man doesn't even know what a bell sounds like. What and do you in comes from? Arachnid. And in comes Stealth Rocks. And this week, we're trying to use some new Pokemon, uh, trying to stick with the tier that our our Pokemon of the week is. So we're trying to use some lower tier ones. We got a Trick Room from uh, from Bronzong, Ouch. and Arachnid has a Leech Life, and then uh, we got an Explosion from it, and it does about half damage. And out comes Machamp, the She-Hulk, or as puts it shulk <laughs> shulk <clears throat> uses knockoff which knocks off the leftovers from Jaden who gets a toxic off that might be interesting yeah arachnids at 11% health <laughs> it's in the work side pocket and then comes a poison jab from Joe and takes down Arachnid, and we're in 5-5 five, five for each Pokemon. We got some toxic damage. Some toxic damage. <laughs> so even with Guts, the champ is still on a timer. We got Meow Stick out there. He's still got a turn of Trick Room, and he uses Fake Out. Very nice. It wastes Trick Room. David, meet yourself. And uh, Machamp is at about a little over 50% health. We got a Reflect Meow Stick, which just eats that bullet punch, no problem. And the Light Screen, so we got some stuff off. We use a knockoff to get that Light Clay off, and Machamp is at 1% health, while Meow Stick's at 8%. That didn't get to use. Oh, well, Light Clay was banned, fella. Huh? Light Clay was banned, fella. Yeah, but that's from oh. Gen 8. Oh. This is anything goes, so. Get a bullet punch onto Jolteon to switch in, and the champ goes down. I took and then Light comes Clay Hit on for Joe, Spring Legs, uses Fake Out, flinches Jolteon. We got a knockoff. Ooh, that Hitmonlee is quick. Jolteon uses a Volt Switch and switches into Kumfei. Oh, we got a Dynamax from Spring Legs who uses a Max Ooze on Comfy. But when Comfy uses a spe like Calm Mind, and with those screens up, it is extremely bulky right now. Uses a Dream oh, no. Kiss, which restores oh. all of the HP that he just lost. So. Joe's going for that special attack. Hitmonlee. And oh no, it goes <laughs> down. In comes Escargo, the Escavalier. Comfy's got a calm mine out and uses leech seed, and an iron head just oh, obliterates it. This cavalier has a really good attack. Slow as shit though. On a cold winter's day. <laughs> In comes Machamp for Jaden. Does he got the fire punch? Ah, uh, and in comes Comfy, and Machamp Dynamaxes and uses a Max Knuckle. Nice switching for Joe. It only takes it about to about third health, and we've got a burn, so we've got Guts and Machamp on the docket. Got a Draining Kiss, takes only a quarter of health, but it restores all the health back, and a Max Steel Spike says, fuck oh, you to Comfy. <laughs> yeah, Machamp is looking tough, and Joe's down to his last two Pokemon. In comes Galvantula. Oh, oh, and this is a thunder. Really? Oh. Did you get? Did you use compound eyes? <laughs> yeah, I did, and I still yeah. fucking missed. Shows my luck. Yay! 
And the Max Quake takes it down to 1% thanks to the stash. And in comes S. Cavalier, who eats a bullet punch. Good predict by Joe. <clears throat> but is S. Cargo got anything that could take down that Machamp? A close combat is the answer for that. Nope. Oh. Simply <laughs> not enough. And Machamp. Oh my god! The G fucking GG, Jay. And Jaden wins that four to nothing. Well, you win some, you lose a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I knew I was gonna have to fight the one that has three of my Pokemon. God damn it! Yeah. I saw oh. Your like, oh, that's a very similar cool name. <laughs> <laughs> so that means I went with the right one. So now we've got Jaden versus GS Kamikaze. The winner gets to pick them Pokemon for next week, so we'll see who gets to pick it. I mean, All right, we got the teams already out there. Let's see how these two competitors go against each other's team. Jaden, if you win, you have to come back next week. Just remember that. <laughs> oh, nice. Jaden's losing on purpose now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in comes Jolteon for David and Arachnid for Jaden. Alright, and Jaden switches into his own Jolteon. Ooh, and David uses Reflect. Go Gooneon. The Gooneon. And uses the light screen, and Jaden uses Shadow Ball, takes it down to about a quarter of its health. Another Shadow Ball. Oh, that's a critical hit. Oh, we got a sunny day. We've got some sunny day antics over here. That's what the kids would call a sheesh right there. Sheesh. <laughs> Jolteon's down to 6% health while Jaden sits at full health. Oof. In comes Machamp. I'm not saying that name. Three who <laughs> takes the Shadow Ball pretty well and gets burnt. Burnt or burnt? Well, burn is in the process. He's already gotten burned, so it's burnt. Burned it. Did. Burned it. Did. <laughs> Back when I was a kid, <clears throat> past tense was. Comes Arachnid, did. and David switches to Flygon. Wish. His wish chomp. He wishes he was a card chomp. He uh, uses Air Slash, takes about a quarter health, and ooh, Jaden blows his load and throws a whole bunch of sticky web all on the field. And in comes Charizard, what a who eats a Toxic. Oh, just as Sun ends on the field. <clears throat> and he Dynamaxes Charizard, who uses a Max Airstream. Takes Arachnid down to 20%. Mirror shot. And oh, Arachnid oh, uses... Oh, critical, critical hit! Oh my god, the crits have been in Jaden's favor big time. Screens be damned. <laughs> he's, a, he's a crit master. I was, I was dead, Jay, for a crit. A bit of luck. A bit of crit luck. In comes last year, the Icy Yuck Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> And in comes a leech life, which tickles him. And in comes an icicle crash that doesn't quite finish the job. I'd hope your thing isn't called icicle crash. <clears throat> so Reckon's at about 10% and uses a toxic. And he uses a smart strike, which... Would have been ironic if he didn't kill, but he does, and he gets the Chilling Nay, which raises his attack. He's at 93% of health. <laughs> In comes Machamp hell? for Jaden. The score is currently tied 5-5 five, five for each. I'm the only one who brought Shiny Machamp. Whether the five fingers say to the face, oh, it. it said get out of here with the close combat. Down goes Glastier. Another just brutal attack. Well, Jaden is certainly showing off the strength of Machamp here. Yep. 
bet that motherfucker's jolly too. Oh, and the sticky web is just gonna <clears throat> be brutal. We've got two burnt Machamps out here. One a little bit slower than the other. One a little less defensive than the other. Uh, in comes Clay Doll. And he predicts that the close combat still does half the damage to Clay Doll. Now it's a little less defensive and slower. And in comes Arachnid for David, the Green Machine, who eats in the Earth Power like no one's business. Green Machine. Green Machine. And another Toxic for Jaden, and a Liquidation takes Clay Doll out. That's banded, right? It's gotta be. Have to I didn't say nothing. <laughs> didn't and then comes nothing. Jolteon. He's a salt fish if he stays there. Stay, I bet you you won't. <laughs> and comes Jolteon. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, nice. oh, a hyper beam. And it missed. It oh. missed. That was a play right there. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize. And then comes Arachnid, who eats that hyper beam. It does half its health, but Jolteon must recharge, which makes him a standing target. And Liquidation takes Ow. him out. Aiden tried to outmaneuver, and unfortunately, a hyper beam miss really cost him. In comes Meowstic. A hyper beam miss really care cost him. And he sent up screens. Liquidation still does a good bit. And Toxic takes out the green machine. We're down three to three for each Mon. Oh, shit. And comes Wish Comp. And the light screen goes up. And Wish Comp uses a U turn. And in comes Machamp. Has someone not used Dynamax yet? David has used his Dynamax. Jaden has not, if I'm correct. Oh, boy. No, I have not. So, if the sun I wasn't out, man. Oh, yeah. Thunder Wave failed because the champ's already burnt. You gotta you gotta expect Jaden not to use Dynamax till the last month. And then comes Comfy. This thing is gonna pretty much finish it. There's only one wig. And even still, yeah, there's no way. There ain't no way. There's no way. Dynamax come bigger. Full punch hits. Oh, we got a calm mind. Take advantage of those um, screens. Yeah, that's smart. Draining kiss takes out the three buttholes. Takes those sun. In comes Wish Chomp. He wishes he wasn't a dragon right now. <laughs> <laughs> Survives a draining kiss, but Earth Power doesn't do anything. Oh, disgusting. A special freaking Flygon. You hate to see it. <laughs> you, you hate to be it. And in comes Jolteon, who's going to do something. Nothing. He's going to no. die. <laughs> GG. There we go, Jaden wins it 2-0. Alright, Jaden, what Pokemon do you want for your next return to Pokedippies? I think um, we're going to go with the proverbial company, the one that really did take a shine out of my champ. We only do Gen 1, sorry. <laughs> I only do Gen 1. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Um, well, I'm not... I, um, I'm not what, actually what, sure which Pokemon you've already covered, but what about... I could recommend I one. Man. Yeah, there we oh, go. Cool. That's exactly no, the one you, I was going to recommend. What? Which one? Alakazam. Alakazam. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. He's a psychic type person, man. Did so, you know that Alakazam sh shares a lot of the same things with Machamp? I thought you were going to say shit from the wind. They can both <laughs> eat ice cream really quick because Machamp has four arms and Alakazam has two spoons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, <coughs> you guys go ahead and send me your team so I can uh, uh, make a poster for it for the video. And uh, yep. next week we will have Toros, and after that, Jaden will join us for Alakazam. Eventually, <laughs> whenever that happens. 
Right. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Or listening.